Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make this card, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog, and the link is listed below in the description. Today I'm participating in the Global Stampin' Video Hop, and this month's theme is Must Try Techniques. So the technique that I'm sharing with you today is a hidden message underneath a swinging element. Make sure to check out everyone's videos and the link to the next video is listed in the description below. So let's go ahead and make this card. So today I've done a lot of the prep work so we can talk mostly about how to create this swinging door element. So I'm using a lot of product for my card. Even though it's a very simple card, I'm using a little bit from a lot of different things. So all my circles have been cut out using the layering circle dies. I'm including the hippo and friend dies. And the only reason is because I was able to find this small circle-ish die. And we're gonna be using that. That's an important element. So you need to find something that's round-ish and is big enough that it can, a dimensional can go through it. So you see how that large dimensional easily goes through that hole there. And so that's why I'm using the Hippo and Friends dies. Then I am using the Encircled in Beauty dies. And this is the door element that I'm creating. I've cut out both of the large um, kind of doily looking shapes and we're going to be layering those to get a nice effect. And then this leaf image comes from the artistic dies and I've cut that out with the rose gold uh, metallic specialty paper. So you can see here that beautiful gold color um, just adds a really nice texture to our card. So this card is nice and simple, but we are using all of those products. And I wanted to make sure that I mentioned those before we began. So to begin, we need to first make the door element. So I'm going, I have cut this out with early espresso cardstock. And on this top piece, I've added some of the adhesive sheets so that it just becomes a sticker. So once I remove this paper backing, it will go nicely onto the um, solid piece and stick easily instead of having a bunch of liquid glue that gets kind of messy. So I'm just gonna rotate this so that it kind of doesn't cover too much of the uh, shape underneath it. But what I liked about this color on color is it just gives a nice texture for behind the greeting. So we don't want to add the greeting yet because we're actually using the greeting to cover up our swinging element. So the next thing I need to do is create the back area where I'm going to add the opening for that hinge feature. So I need to actually stamp my texture on this crumb cake piece of cardstock. So the cardstock has been cut to four by five and a quarter and I'm using my Stamparatus to stamp this image and I want to share with you a really quick way of making sure that your cardstock is lined up on your background stamps. So the background stamp that I'm using is the Knit Together and it's a new stamp in the holiday mini catalog. Before I ink it up, I'm going to lay my cardstock right in the center so that I know that everything is lined up where I want it to be. Place a little bit of adhesive on the back. Then I'm gonna, I don't need that, so I'm gonna remove the paper. And then I just have a um, smooth surface here. I'm actually closing my Stamparatus backwards 
picking it all up and pressing down. And what that does is it adds my car sock with just a little adhesive to the correct place so that when I stamp this, everything is nice and straight. I'm going to ink up my image with crumb cake so that I just have a tone on tone. Just adding a little bit of ink. Then I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm just gonna spread that ink around and kind of soften it up a little bit. So it's not quite as dark as just having it be 100% ink. And then go ahead and close and stamp. And I'm focusing on the edges since that's the main area we're gonna be seeing. If you don't get enough ink like you want it, just close again and press a little bit harder on those areas. All right, so you just get this really nice soft background to our card. So the next piece I'm gonna add is a um, pattern from the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. And it's been cut to three and three fourths by five inches. And I'm just going to place that over that cardstock. I'm going to offset it a little bit so it's a little bit closer to the bottom left corner than the top right corner. And that's just for a little bit of fun to the card. Next, I'm going to add this leaf. And I've also placed the adhesive sheets on this so that it just becomes a sticker. And that is just gonna go on the right side of my card. So now that we've got our elements ready, we're able to start the swinging door technique. So I'm going to begin by cutting a hole in my swinging element. And I want it to be in an area that's gonna be covered. So let's just kind of double check so that's gonna go in the center, and then this hole should be about here. So right about there. So I'm gonna run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine to cut this hole out. Okay, so I've got that hole. The next thing we're going to do is place that element where we want it when the element is down or closed. So possibly somewhere like this. I've placed it so it's closest to the left side and has a little bit more opening on the right so we can see a little bit of the leaves as it come around. And it's about centered from the top to bottom. And I'm gonna take a pencil and just make a mark where I need to cut out my next hole. So then I'm going to take the die, lay it over that area Take a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place. And then we'll cut this out at the machine. So now we have two holes that when lined up gives us that look that we're wanting. So I've got a small circle here. This is gonna go on the back. So I'm going to add a dimensional to this. I'm going to layer my background first, then my swinging element, and then I'm going to remove the paper and add my greeting. And so I want this to be adhered to my swinging element. And it's, so I need to add some adhesive to the bottom as well. So that just gets centered. Now this stamp, the You Warm My Heart, is from the Encircled in Warmth stamp set, which coordinates with the Encircled in Beauty dies, which I cut out that swinging element from. All right. So now you'll see that this element can swing back and forth. It's adhered to the circle and to the greeting. And so that goes like this back and forth. So now we can add this to our card base and I've got a card base of very vanilla. It's important when you add the adhesive 
that you leave this circle alone because that circle needs to move freely. So you can see, if I make a mark here, that when I move the door, that needs to, that moves as well. So no adhesive around that, which I just realized my adhesive, there's a little bit of adhesive back here from when I did my background. So that should be removed. There we go, that moves pretty cleanly. So now that just goes right in the center of your card base and all of the hinging for that swinging element is hidden. You can see how that is hidden there. So now we need to swing that element all the way up to the top so that we can add our hidden message. And I'm using Early Espresso ink, which is the same color as what I used for my other greeting. I've got your friendship is something I know I can count on. And I'm going to just stamp that right underneath that swinging door so that it is covered when that is covered, just like that. Now that greeting comes from the Love of Leaves stamp set. So not only did I use a ton of dies, but I also used quite a bit of um, different stamp sets. And you can use any greeting for this. Now I noticed I got a little bit of a over stamping right there. I just probably re over inked my image and that's okay. So I can always just add a little element there to kind of cover it up. But I'm gonna just finish my card by adding some of this really pretty diamond weaved ribbon and I'm just going to place that with some tear and tape near the bottom. And then just kind of rough up the ends a little bit to give it kind of that distressed look. And then I've got some vanilla twine that goes nicely with the ribbon and with the um, cardstock that I'm using. Just tied a bow and I'm gonna add that down here to the base of this leaf element. And I'm gonna place that with a glue dot. So these glue dots are pretty big, so I'm just gonna kind of fold it in on itself just to kind of get a small one and then add it to the back of my bow and right down onto my card. Then take a pair of paper snips if you need to and just trim your the ends of your bow. Okay, so now the very last thing I want to add are just some of these elegant faceted gems. I really love them in the champagne color and it's just a fun thing to add a little bit more bling to your card. I'm just gonna add three. And then I may add a small one right over that little mistake. See how that looks. Maybe something like that, just to kind of cover that up a little bit. Okay, so that card is now all done. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun swinging door with a hidden element. Please make sure to check out all of the videos from the Global Stampin' Video Hop by clicking on the link in the description below. If you're interested in getting written instructions or seeing close-up images of this card, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.